now it is connected it is very tight now let's turn the knob and see if it starts yeah you can see that it is working this video is sponsored by PCBWay who have added free gift shop with gadgets which you can redeem using beans that you get as reward from order completions. Also guys there is a new reduced price of only $30 on all SMT orders link is in the description. Hi guys welcome back to my channel and in this video I am going to teach you how to convert this 12 volts 120 amps car alternator into a DC motor a brushless DC motor. Okay, now guys, an alternator has two windings. One for the armature that is going to generate electricity, which is in the three phase format one, two, three, star connected, and that is the center point. And these two wires are for the rotor of field winding that induces EMF in the armature winding. So, unlike our normal brushless motors, it does not contain permanent magnets so for that reason we will have to give external supply to the field which is not the case with our normal BLDC motors now guys this is a normal BLDC motor from an electric rickshaw now guys you might have seen in my previous videos that I operated this motor as a BLDC motor and I only connected these three wires for uh, running it by using this no hall sensor type of controller circuit BLDC controller circuit and that was because the field part of this uh, BLDC motor is made with neodymium magnets so the field does not require any external power source which is not the case with the alternators now guys here in alternators two separate wires are present this red and blue one to excite the field winding so that the electromagnet inside can become a very strong large magnet and induce EMF in the armature ports. So if we are going to run this as a motor, we first need to magnetize the field winding and then use these three wires from this no hall sensor type of BLDC motor controller and connect these three wires to these three terminals of the alternator. And if everything goes mathematically correct then this alternator should run as a normal motor there is one more catch the current rating of the armature winding for this alternator is 120 amperes while uh, the maximum current handling capability of this circuit is only 20 amperes so you have to be careful not to connect large battery to this circuit otherwise the circuit is going to get damaged now guys here i'm going to use these two as the power source for running alternator as a motor so this is a 12 volts battery from a bike and this is a 15 volts laptop charger 15 volts 3 amperes now i'm using such a low power source because i don't want to overload this BLDC motor controller circuit and also I really like the circuit I don't want to damage it so I'm a little overprotective so let's start the connection part
okay so guys here as you can see that I have done all the connections uh, I've connected the laptop charger to this circuit now all I have to do is power up the field winding of this alternator and for that I'm going to use this bike battery so the positive wire will be connected over here also at present it is at the lowest mode which is the off mode I will have to turn that knob to start the motor okay yeah now it is connected it is very tight now let's turn the knob and see if it starts yeah you can see that it is working 